terribly painful. Because here we're offering the, the most beautiful thing we have to offer, the life that is within us. So if I say to somebody, I'm really lonely right now and would need some connection, would you just come over and hold me? And the other person looks like this. And I don't have giraffe ears on. You see the tragedy in that? I'm offering one of the most beautiful gifts a human being can give, that which is alive in them. And then you get that look. And if I have giraffe jackal ears on, I think I'm toxic. What's alive in me, what's so beautiful and alive in me that I'd love somebody to see the beauty in it, and they get that look, I start thinking there's something toxic in me. I am toxic. Now, of course, I fiddled around with technology and come up with these ears. Now, when I offer a beautiful gift of what's alive in me and the other person goes like, or you're needy or whatever, now, now I know what the problem is. The damn jackal postal delivery service is screwed up again. <laughs> I sent a beautiful gift out and they delivered a hunk of shit. Now isn't that, <laughs> isn't that tragic that there is such a postal delivery service? I mean, I'm militant about this. I don't care about the destruction to the ecology, the starvation of people. The jackal post of delivery service is the greatest menace on this planet. I'm <laughs> And human beings send out beautiful gifts and these horrible messages get delivered through these ears. I appreciate your help. I'm really grateful to you for leading into my session today. Because <laughs> really, everything you said was I like much better than what I was going to say <laughs> to prepare us for it. Thank you. In fact, the session's over. Can I stay around for the after session talk then? <laughs> Thank you. When I listen with giraffe ears, when I get my meaning and I get that look, could you model how I could respond to that? How I could deal with that? When the other, well, the first thing I need to say, I'm serious, I don't say the jackal postal delivery service has done its evil deed again. I've shortened that because it has to happen quick. I just quickly tell myself they didn't hear. And so what I repeated? Well, I may or may not. The mo even the most important thing is that I not connect their pain with what's alive in me. And I'll see if I'm a baby, it, and nobody's taught me how to do this, and I've got a poor parent that's in enormous agony, and I'm just crying and needing some food, and the parent feels obligated, and shit, I, got to, I have to feed the baby, and I don't have giraffe ears, I start growing up immediately by thinking there's something wrong with me for having my needs. So the biggest thing we can do for ourselves is just at that moment to be conscious in whatever way we can remind ourselves they didn't hit, they didn't get the the package they didn't get the gift but not in any way to connect what I said with that look on their face those words no because uh, that's one of the nice things we'll always know that the other person heard us when we express our needs because they will have the look on their face of a little child talking to Santa Claus. If they don't have that look, they didn't hear. They have a look on their face like children when they're getting a gift from Santa Claus.